Hey there, it's Brittany, and I'm back with an unboxing video from Tracy's D Sash uh, group on Facebook. Uh, I ordered this right before I went to Tucson for the first time last week, and then um, they came in between uh, my trips. <laughs> so I'm just opening it now. I've had this for a few days in the house. Um, and she sent me a little gift. Crimps. There's a, that's nice. I don't have these colors. These are um, uh, either called clamshells or collots. British. <laughs> um, very cool. That's a Michael's brand, Bead Landing. I don't have the color. That's awesome. Thank you, Tracy. And then we have some big hole beads, large hole like Pandora style beads. Oh, that says 925 Those are like silver or silver plated. Very cute. Very nice. I will definitely be using those. Thank you, Tracy. That's so sweet of you. All right. Don't remember what I ordered, but I'm always happy with what I get from, well, for the most part, most always happy what I get from the Gucci Ash Group. Um, very well packaged. Let's see what we got here. Hmm, coral. I don't remember how much this was. Oh, no, it says gift. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Another one. I hope, I hope that's what that was. <laughs> um, these are really nice. They're very skinny, and I just... I already have an idea for these, and of course, it's gonna be with turquoise. Oh no, there's a red one too. <laughs> that is awesome. These are beautiful. I love, you know, yesterday we were in Tucson and there was a, ba a strand of pe uh, pink bamboo coral that I really wanted, but it was like, it was just more than I wanted to spend for one strand. It was like 11 bucks, not, uh, you know, super expensive, but I was just like, oh, I, who, who knows when I would use that? It wasn't a color, it was in this pink color, and I don't really have any larger, bamboo beads, a bamboo coral like that. And uh, I'm not completely regretting not buying it, but now I'm seeing these, I'm like, mm, maybe I should have done it. But these, anyway, you know I can go off on tangents. These are wonderful, thank you. Those are lovely, love them. Those will go right in my coral drawer. Um, I'm trying to put things away the minute after I video them for you guys because this is the only way it's gonna work out. Oh, she sent me another gift. This is sweet, thank you, Tracy. You guys know I love bone beads. This is a bone bead bracelet. I would definitely, yeah, it's it's one of those older ones. It's vintage. Um, the minute you pull on them, they they um, stretch out. But they're, I'm sure she bought them for the beads. So these are wonderful beads. I love, I love batik bead uh, bone beads. Beautiful. And then you can use these in any way you'd like. You know, you could do just restring this bracelet and be ready to go. But you can use it as a singular bracelet bar, or you can use it as a connector on a necklace, too. So, lovely. Love that. Thank you. And then we have some shell beads. Oh, these are really pretty. They're, like, bright, bright pink. And you guys know hot pink. Second favorite color. Although I rarely use it. <laughs> I feel like I've been using a lot a blue and purple lately. Today on my live, I did a blue and purple necklace. The last live I did was a blue and purple necklace, but oh, these are actually really nice quality. Sometimes you see shell beads that aren't the best quality, but these are really nice. I love these. And they're, they could be used as a donut or a bead frame or just a dangle. Very cool. Very neat. Those are lovely. Um, oh, that's another gift. Little elephants, you guys know I adore elephants, especially with their trunk sets. Um, yeah, these are beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Oh, what are these? Uh, oh my gosh! Little zuni bears. So she has a lot of zuni bears in her shop. And I kind of get overwhelmed when there's a lot of something that I really like, and so I end up not like really ordering them. But she sent me a sampler so I can show you guys. Oh, Labradorite Zuni Bear. My friend Julie is going to love these. She was hunting for Labradorite all weekend and she found some really pretty rondelles. So those are super cute. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you. And then um, it looks like she sent pears so I can make earrings. Or I'll just use them. And oh, I can picture these in a knotted project. I really want to do a knotted project soon. Oh, these are nice. These are really cute. I'm gonna have to go back and buy some of these. <laughs> I actually claimed some stuff already, so I could just add to it. Oh, these are really pretty. I think these are 
um, rhodonite maybe? Not 100% sure. And we have unikite or unikite with green and pink. And then we have Dalmatian Jasper, so cute. Oh, look at those little babies, they're so cute. So adorable. And then, I can't remember which Jasper this is, but it's so pretty. Thank you, Tracy, that's just so sweet. I love those, those are gonna go in my little um, animal stone bead, fetish bead um, drawer on my bookcase, love it. Thank you, okay. Those are some wonderful gifts. I did not know that she was gonna do that. So, what do we have here? Oh, I forgot about a lot of this stuff and it's so pretty. Okay, so, yeah, what do we have? Okay, so I have some seed beads. And actually, these are gonna go really, 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 really well with African beads. That's why I bought them. Great spacers. So we have matte, like a matte gold, but it's not completely matte. It's almost like that car, um, paint gold oh i love it and then look at these guys love those i love those stripes i am a sucker for striped seed beads like every time i saw them this weekend i was like oh, okay put them back because <laughs> i know i have them i have them but i always want more all right what do we have here um we have some i think they're check glass i'm not 100 percent sure on this they're like Swirl beads. Love those. Sometimes it's a surprise what I get because I don't remember what I overheard. Um, those were dollar twenty-five. Oh, she put Happy Meal on these. Very cute little elephant. If you wanted to go bold, you can do um huge earrings with these. Actually, I think that would be really awesome if they were huge earrings my goodness I love the patina look at the patina on those just so beautiful and then um these were a dollar oh got some sharpie on me it's okay it happens all the time and these are just such a cool shape look at this shape I what shape is that I don't even know what to call that. Rhombus, maybe? I don't know. It's really cool. And that color is just amazing. Beautiful. Way better in real life. Next we have... Um, Ten for $1.25. They're like little diamonds. Love those. Cool. Check glass again. This will go to some gemstone. Um, oh, she threw in another little gift here. Ooh, these are so cute. I have these. Um, I think I got them on a strand at maybe Michael's. Now, these might be a little bit different color, but these are the same color. I couldn't tell you where those are right now, so I'm glad I found these, <laughs> or that she sent these. These are lovely. Thank you, Tracy. Love those. Beautiful. Um, what do we have here? A rectangle. I can't remember. I think this is agate. It's beautiful. Nice red orange. And it's a bead frame. I'm thinking some beautiful rough crystals going down the middle. And then making this a pendant, like wire wrapping at the top, stopping it at the bottom. That would be a really beautiful pendant. Or you could use it as a donut and wire, or and just use leather and wrap it. Oh, happy Mail. I'm loving this Happy Mail. I don't think I saw this in her shop. Look at that guy. Wow. That is beautiful. That is so gorgeous. And it's really ornate and it's hollow. Very cool. Right up my alley. You know that's my style. <laughs> Tracy, you're so sweet. Um, oh, yeah. Some little, like, they're not really daggers. They're like little bean daggers. Does that make sense? Am I just being slap happy? Sorry, my hands are, like, super dirty after all the video bead videos I've been doing. Um, um, to um, video a bunch so I can get them out throughout the week without having a day 
without a video. We'll see if that works this week. <laughs> but these are my one of my favorite colors, mint. Just so yummy. Just such a cute color. Such a cute little bead. And those were $1.25. So cute. Okay, so I was like, when I saw these, I was like, those look like a shoe. And remember, I got shoe beads from Tracy last time. These are $2.75. And they're actually called clog clog beads and I, I, I thought they looked like shoes before I saw that they were actually shoe beads <laughs> so look at them the cutest thinking stinking little thing I've ever seen in my life they're my favorite color um three pair and just isn't that if if I could be a bead today I'd want to be this bead that's for sure could you imagine I wish I could make like dolls or something if I used um, polymer clay to create a gnome and put these little shoes on them. Oh, be so cute. Those beads on them make me, make me want to cry because <laughs> they're so cute. Um, you guys know I'm obsessed with leaves and petals. I have this style leaf in many colors. I probably have it in this color, but I think the color I have it in like this has gold on it. You know I love those. $1.50. Great price. Mm, I love check beads. And my, my love for check beads has certainly been renewed this year. Last year, it was all about the natural. This year, still all about the natural, but we're going back to glass. Um, some more check beads, uh, $1.50. Love those. Those more of that shape, but these are a little bit smaller, I think. Nope, oh, they're the same size as the black ones. Great. That's a great shade of green, too. Like, I feel like a necklace coming on with these, but I gotta figure out how the heck I would do it. And what other color would I use? Um, this was a dollar little face guy. I love it. So cute. He looks like a little, he's either like super happy or super angry or just super mischievous. <laughs> I love it. Very cute. Um, Two lamp work beads. It's pretty cool. I honestly don't remember <laughs> binning those, but that happens from time to time. And then um, these oh, check glass beads, they're so pretty. Um, two sets, so 15 uh, at $1.25. I love those. I love those dual color beads and I've been seeing them more and more. Thankfully, there was something that really I bought a lot of, um, relatively a lot of, I, when I was in my teens and I just love them now. It's like nostalgic for me. And then I got one of these guys. He was 75 cents. A little um, Egyptian symbol guy. Or it's either Egyptian or African. I can't, I actually can't really tell. I think maybe it might be African. You don't know. It's beautiful. And then I also got these carved. I can't remember. What is this? I can't remember. So they were 12, 30 cents each for carved. But I don't think they're coral. Maybe they are. No, I don't remember what these are. I'll have to ask Tracy. They're so pretty though, these beautiful. They look like kind of like tulips, but I'm not sure if that's the flower they are. They're just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. They might be coral. They look like the right color. And then last but not least, I wish I would have ordered more. I thought I ordered two different colors, but maybe I was just like, no, you can deal with one. <laughs> um, they were 75 cents each. They're very nice. Um, I think they're I think they're check. I'll have to ask her. But yeah, I think they are. They're pressed glass. Um, they're so beautiful. They're nice and they're actually kind of heavy. And I love the matte finish. So my favorite thing in this haul were definitely these uh, little faces. These flowers. And... Oh, yeah. If I wanted to be a bead, it would be these beads today. So these are my three favorite things that I purchased from this um, de-stash uh, haul. But Tracy sent me some beautiful 
beautiful bears. I love these little bears. You know, it's my favorite shape. Um, and I love, oh, these were really nice too. Everything was so nice. Thank you for the gifts. I really appreciate it. Um, thanks for watching. Check out Tracy's Distash group. I'll put the information in the uh, description below. Let me know if you have any questions. Let Tracy know if you have any questions. And I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Stay tuned for Goldie. She's super cute. Bye-bye. Goldie, how come you're so cute? Hmm? Are you dead? Oh, I saw you blink. <clears throat> Big figure. How come you're so cute? Goldie. Goldie. <laughs> there she is. Hi, bud. Hi, cutie. You're so cute. Yeah, you're so cute. Okay, I'll let you alone. I'll leave you alone.